Welcome back to the Free Miles MC and we have a really long day on the road in front of us. But first of all, we need to get going in this hostel and I need to pack my stuff. So let's go. So we're back on the road here on now our first day on the road here in Spain. Um, we just got going in Zatraus and we're now going to Bilbao. And in Bilbao I need to stock up on SD cards to continue producing those videos here. And um, after that our go big goal for the day is the Picos de Europe, which is a really nice mountain range, lots of curvy roads amazing for the motorcycle uh, in general i think it will be a day with a lot of curvy roads so how was my time in zatraust uh, the place where we stayed i found a really good hostel it was cheap and i had a really good time uh, I, I walked through that Traust and realized there is not much to do but there was one thing that was really good to do the beach of zatraust offered some amazing surf waves As you can see, I catched a few lefts and a few rights and it was just really good fun just going up and down the wave. Um, I had a really good time. I um, also checked out, I think, Paga Beach. I hope I pronounced that correctly. That is the nicest left going wave of Europe. Sadly, the surf wasn't up, uh, but there was an amazing graffiti. So, and right now the waves are not that good anymore. So we are going to use that chance to explore the mountain ranges of the Atlantic coast of Spain. So I made it now into Bilbao and we will now make our way to FNAC which is the electronic store that they have here in Spain and also in France and get some new SD cards. Well I have to say Bilbao has its moments like there's some more beautiful looking areas definitely but I think for a town to like dedicate a visit to it's not really worth it. 
Oh, I think there's someone go getting going on their motorcycle. Let's go into that spot. Bike is parked. That's good. Pardon, uh, donde es el Carta Mini SD? Tarjeta, ¿cómo? Tarjeta uh, Micro SD. Ah, Micro. So I've now gotten the SD card, so it was quite expensive, sadly. But I will now make my way to get some food. So I now finally have my food and something went wrong with the order. It, it took super long, like 20 minutes. And something went wrong and now I have like three menus of some small family probably. But yeah. So let's go to the Picos de Europe. A shame, think something new. Now made quite a lot of kilometers since Bilbao and we are now at the beginning of the Pico de Europe National Park and as you can see the views are amazing we still have a lot of kilometers to go and it is just very narrow and curvy roads here which is fun but also a challenge but just the views and the landscape here are just amazing how gorgeous it is here so we have about 175 kilometers to go of basically just this like just roads like this a lot of turns it now has gotten a bit easier uh before it was even twistier and narrower oh there are cows and bulls there's no fence in between they're just like they, they could be just like also standing on the road if they wanted to also now here the first time the interceptor 650 in some proper mountains on some quite high roads with huge inclines does quite well you can feel it's only um 47 horsepower and with all the weight and the surfboard and everything but the the bike doesn't lose that much power when it gets higher it it, it does it does yeah but like compared to a, a carbureted motorcycle it's not that bad a carbureted motorcycle would right now already be just gasping for air. There's so much cow shit on the road that I really have to look out that I don't accidentally lay down the bike. Ooh, beautiful sports cars. I have to be honest, I'm always a bit scared of um, light uh, light small engine sports cars on mountain roads as a motorcyclist because um, those small engine capacities can really be uh, underestimated by younger drivers like every time i see a master miata just going for it i'm always like oh fuck, no he's not around me i think the pico de rio is 2600 meters high Probably that's the highest point of it and we will probably reach, I, I don't know how far, uh, but we will probably get also quite high. Let's make our way through those mountains getting higher and higher. Ooh, <laughs> some horses crossing the road. Hello. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. You have quite big horns. I don't want to... Get to know you. Up 
so we're getting now closer and closer to the Pinterest de Europe. I have to say I'm so hungry by now. Um, and also quite muscly tired. And the sun is setting soon. So we will have a look at the Pinterest de Europe and then we'll try to find a place to stay. And I wanted to go camping, but I, uh, but I think that maybe could become a bit difficult because um, I, I don't know where the next camping ground could be. And we're a bit late in time. This looks like it. This seems to be the Pinterest Day Europe. So those over there are the Pinterest Day Europe, those mountain ranges. Nothing here in English, so. But apparently somehow the ocean over the years caused this those mountains. Maybe that's wrong uh, because I cannot read the text. So, oh, I'm hungry, let's go. And my navigation system doesn't work anymore. Or in other words, uh, the service here is so poor that even GPS doesn't work. But I earlier saw there's supposed to be a uh, little town at the end of this road. Super beautiful to look at. <laughs> Just how wild those peaks look is really crazy. Well, now we're truly getting a good look. Also, the roads here are not the best. Uh, this is very steep downhill. Um, the thing is, we also have to get back up here. <laughs> but I think that the interceptor is strong enough. But, like, no joke, if I now would be on a Meteor 350, I would be scared of not making it back up. Ah, uh, just a dream. 20% incline and we have to go as slow as the car in front of us. Wow. Just unbelievable how this looks here. Ooh. <laughs> this is one of the highlights here. This is... <coughs> it's so imposing being in the middle of all those um, rocks here. Kind of cold and spooky here by now. Crazy to see how the sun is still hitting the peaks. This little road is absolutely wide enough for just this motorcycle. I hope no one comes in the opposite direction, especially on one of those ones here, where it's going uphill. Honestly, this forest feels like it's out of a fairy tale. So with the rocks here, like in the road already. Ooh. Honestly, this road is so beautiful. This is a really one-of-a-kind experience. If I don't sound super enthusiastic, that's because I really have to focus. Because behind every corner could be a huge T4 VW that doesn't look out for motorcyclists. So yeah, just seeing all the different colors of the rock in there. I think I found a town. Oh, and I think there's also a camping ground. And a supermarket. What a little beautiful town with all the cobblestone. I think down here it goes to where the vans and stuff are standing. So let's have a look at the town first. I just talked to some of the locals here and apparently if I buy something at the supermarket I am allowed to go wild camp behind the supermarket. So we're going to do that now. And 
and with that I finally managed to get some food. And this is it for this episode. If you like what I do here on YouTube, check out my other stuff in the description with my other socials and my Patreon. And consider subscribing. I hope I see you guys next week.